37 minutes past the hour. Thank you so much for staying with us right here at K24 TV. Preparations for the upcoming Mombasa ASK show are ongoing. Earlier on, we had an update from Fred Kai who told us that at least 80% is done, 20% is still pending. And now talking about the same preparations on this particular event is Nyali legislators. So let's cross over there and listen in to what he has to say. Na, na chair wa SK Mombasa uh, tuweze kusponsor makundi ya vijana uh, kwa wingi waje wasome wajione na pia vile vile tuweke mikakati ya uh, hawa ndugu zetu officials wa SK baada ya show pia vile vile waweze kuyatembelea haya makundi uh, katika hali ya kuwahimiza kuendeleza kilimo uh, kama namna moja ya kupata ajira na pia vile vile kujikimu kimaisha uh, hata mimi eh, ingawa nilikuwa mwalimu wa agriculture zamani eh, nimeweza kujikumbusha uh, maili matatu uh, ya mambo ya ukulima ni konao sasa hizi nitaongeza zaidi ili tuweze kufaidika uh, na hii safari ya sisi kuja hapa leo na toa taka kuchukua pia fursa hii uh, kumpongeza chea pamoja na kamati yake kwa kazi nzuri ambayo wanafanya na tunaomba uh, county government ya Mombasa pamoja na zile county zingine za Kenya mzima uh, ziweze kutilia swala hili la agriculture uh, maanani sana na ni njia moja ambayo tutaweza kuwatoa vijana uh, katika ile um, pengine tabia ya kukaa na kusema wana past time ama wana uh, poteza wakati ama wana wana pumzika kitu kama hicho sababu katika ulimwengu uh, kila dakika inahisabika katika maisha yetu na namna tunavotumia uh, ndio tunaweza kusema uh, tunatekeleza ule umuhimu wetu katika huu ulimwengu so lao tutaweza kuwageuza vijana wetu na wasichana wetu pia vile vile waweze kutumia wakati wao mwingi uh, kuwa maneke wanazalisha itakuwa tumefanikiwa uh, kama viongozi so tutaomba ile department ya agriculture uh, waachilie manani sana swala hili na pengine county nzima pia katika mambo mengi basi liwe hili la ukulima ndio litapewa kipaumbele kwa sababu ni njia moja ya kuweza kuwasaidia vijana wetu uh, kuwa innovative na pia vile vile waweze kuwa na maarifa ya hata wao pia vile vile kuweza kuzalisha na kuweza kujikimu kimaisha na mbali na hayo uh, ukulima uh, una mbinu za kisasa uh, kuna namna ya kuweza kutumia sehemu ndogo na tukaweza kuzalisha uh, zao kubwa tuna ukulima pia vile vile wa yale matonobari uh, tunahitaji ni kiingereza uh, greenhouse ile eh? uh, pia vile vile tunaweza kupata uh, msaada wa county uh, wakitoa fedha na vikundi vya kina mama na vijana wakaweza kusaidiwa wakawa watakuwa wakulima na mbali na hayo katika kuwa tumejiendeleza tutaomba pia tuweze kupata hiyo hiyo serikali ya county iweze kukodisha mashamba uh, sehemu za Mtwapa na sehemu za Kwale ambako kuna mashamba yamekaa idol e, na tuweze kupata uh, wataalamu wa ukulima uh, pamoja na wakishirikiana na uh, wenzetu wa SK waweze kutoa maneke elimu ya kuwafunza hawa wa, waweze kutoa uh, mazao yatalisha uh, maneke sehemu yetu ya Mombasa si jambo la mna itakuwa yalishwa na sehemu zingine za kutoka nje lao kumetokea dharura ya magari hayawezi kuingia Mombasa watu wa Mombasa watapata shida na nafikiria lingekuwa jambo la busara uh, hili liwezekane tuwe tunatumia ile mashamba ambayo yuko idol 
wananchi wetu vijana wapeleke kule wasomeshwe waweze kukua watazalisha na waweze ku provide ile much needed services za market gardening uh, items uh, kama ndizi uh, mboga uh, matunda yale ya haraka haraka pia vile vile yawe yataweza kuuza ndani ya soko letu pia vile vile na nafikiria tukifanya hivyo uh, tutaweza kuwa tumefanikiwa kama serikali na tutakuwa tumesaidia vijana wetu pa, kwa, kwa ukubwa sana na pia vile vile tutaweza kuongeza uh, manake ardhi ambayo iko anda uh, ukulima katika sehemu yetu na pengine hili ndio jambo ambalo linatufanya sisi kidogo kuwa uh, tuko nyuma uh, kwa sababu hatuwezi kujilisha sisi wenyewe hata mayai kama hayaletu kutoka sehemu za nje hatuwezi kula mayai hapa which is something ambayo ni lazima tugeuze na magavana wetu wa kaunti zote za pwani wakishirikiana kwa pamoja hili jambo I beg your pardon and apologies for that that is not nyali legislator he is actually Changamwe MP Honorable Oscar uh, Mwinyi and he's just uh, briefing us on the state of the preparations on the ongoing, uh, not the ongoing but the upcoming Mombasa ASK show and earlier on we had the CEC, uh, Mombasa, a CEC from Mombasa County in charge of agriculture talk about the fact that 80% of the preparations are done, 20% to go, and actually shed a lot of optimism to the fact that within two weeks, 20% will be complete. Keep watching the show. This is The Daily Brief with me, Samuel Njoroge. We need to shift to education now, where a new initiative seeks to enroll the service of, or the service of school teachers to diffuse conflict at the grass root level has been launched but would like to understand what exactly this means and moving forward how can we sustain the efforts that are being made towards especially cbc that is competency uh, based uh, curriculum to ensure that at the end of the day the gain that was intended is exactly the gain that has been transferred to uh, the learners i've got a panel of uh, two gentlemen with me in studio to my immediate left i've got matthias osimbo he is the county representative for teachers without borders welcome to the program and uh, to my extreme left i've got uh, uh, Tai Jun Li, I got that right? Yes, correct. Uh, thank you so much. You. He is from the Heavenly Culture World Peace Restoration of Light. Welcome to the program. It's a pleasure to host you. And I'd like to begin with you, Matthias. When you look at the trajectory of the conversation we are having around education in the country, does it inspire hope in you that at the end of the day we shall have quality? Yeah, as... Um I'm concerned I've been a teacher for 19 years mm -hmm. and uh, having taught children for years, I've understood that uh, there is that aspect of moral that is lacking in character as well. Um, there is also need to input um, some of the activity based, which is actually competence based curriculum is working on. Uh, as Teachers Without Borders, we are trying to bring in new ways of approach especially when we are also offering professional development courses to teachers and also the new methods of giving knowledge to uh, the, the children that they are growing. Now, uh, we just the other day launched uh, Peace Education uh, in Kenya with uh, support from HWPL, uh, which is a Korean-based NGO. Mm -hmm. We are trying to work in partnership to reach out to schools and teachers in achieving uh, peace, not only in Kenya, but in the world. Mm -hmm. Jun Li, why choose this initiative to support? Why choose to work with them? Uh, actually, they are teachers without borders. They can go everywhere exactly, and then that is exactly fitted on what the HWPL aiming on too. Because HWPL is the non-government and non-profit organization to only for achieve the peace in the world. And one of the initiatives of the HWPL is exactly aiming on the education. Mm -hmm. And through by the education, making the peace. And that is why 
even teachers without borders, even without mafias, then all the teachers are going to be planting about this seed, real seed of the peace. It can be achieved a real peace. That's why we're working with them. All right. Thank you so much for that. For now, let's cross over to Parliament and listen in to the mediation process between the Senate and the National Assembly of a Division of Revenue Bill 2019-2020. Uh, I will call the uh, delegation representing Honorable uh, Ichungwa to conduct election of um, hmm? yeah, yeah, or, or the, 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 the vice chair, yeah, yeah, sorry, the vice chair to conduct the election of, which, which vice chair? We don't have the vice I chair. We made it very clear okay. uh, that, uh, you know, uh, Jeanette, that's what we agreed upon, that in the absence of Ichungwa, Mohamed takes over. Okay. Then, uh, thank you, member. We have just walked ahead. The second uh, provision of standing order is that the chairperson and, and the ch oh, vice chairperson order. of mediation. Of yes, yes, honorable. I think, uh, secretariat, you need uh, uh, to take us slowly. These are matters that will be filed in court. This matter is in court. The minutes of this mediation will go to court. So please, let's go step by step as per the standing orders. Yeah. Uh, members of, uh, after Honorable Senator Kamar and uh, Honorable Olekina, uh, the matter has been settled that for chair and then the, for the vice chair. So I think we need to move on. I really want uh, to go on record that uh, the secretariat and whoever is taking minutes, it's, uh, you need to be very, very serious because these minutes will be filed by the litigation team of parliament and the other lawyers as a progress that we are going to file with, because this is a, something which has been asked by the course we do. I think what uh, she's uh, talking about is for us to formally elect Mahmoud as the vice chair. And uh, so we, he needs the presiding officer. You are presiding officer for the chair. Yeah. Now you can allow Lesonet, who is yes. representing a chungwa, to be the presiding officer, and we elect Mahmoud, and I propose Mahmoud Thank for the vice you, chair. Then we move on. I also second. Thank you. Mahmoud for vice uh, chair. Th th thank you, members, uh, for your presentations. And to thank you more for, for without going to elections, agreeing on the chair, uh, for which I temporarily stand in for. And I now to want to call upon a proposal and a seconder for purpose of electing the vice chair. So I invite her. So yes, Honorable Bandi, take the microphone and propose. I propose Engineer Mahmoud for the vice chair. Thank you, uh, Honorable Mahmoud. I proposed. second Engineer Mahmoud for the vice chair. Seconded by Honorable Mishi. Any other proposal, members? So being no other proposal, uh, uh, let's all congratulate Engineer Mahmoud for being elected the vice chair of this uh, mediation uh, committee. Uh, and with that, I want to allow uh, Honorable Mahmoud as the substantive vice chair to now conduct uh, today's meeting. Engineer. The controller of budget, uh, together with uh, the National Assembly Speaker, this morning will be looking into the strategic plan for the Office of the Controller of Budget, and that event has been taking place at the Crown Plaza. So let's cross over there and appreciate what has been happening this far. You expect it, you know what it will look like, and you know you can depend on it. I think that is no mean achievement, and we want to celebrate that as we celebrate the, the controller's tenure in office. That's really important. The other thing I want to remember about the controller, she leaves office, and in fact that our, our mandate at the CRA and the controller are very complementary. Whatever we do, we have to mirror each other. We cannot go and argue about what the law provides between ourselves. I think we are siblings, and I want to, to really Confirm here we've worked very, very well. And one, as, 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 as my, my senior in this space, what I really, really admire is the controller's grasp and understanding of the law. We were once invited to a meeting in one of the houses of parliament to make comments on a registration. And I want to remember when we walked in, 
someone looked around and said, what is Controra doing here? We, did, we hadn't really invited her. And it's because they knew she's so conversant with the law and the provisions, both in the Constitution and the PFM Act, he was going to anchor her comments in the law. And there's no way you can argue with the law. That's Controra for you. And I can tell you, Controller, if you let me, I can tell you the two documents you'll find in her handbag today. It is the Constitution and the PFM Act. She never leaves those behind. <laughs> and <laughs> she will never leave them behind, and it's one thing I've always tr tried to learn from the Controller. Can I remember to carry my Constitution and my copy of the PFM Act? I'm sorry to say I'm disappointed you haven't learned yet. I don't have one today, and I need it. So that's important, her grasp of the law is unquestionable. And that's why the previous speaker said they've tried to change, come up with new registration, and she's always been very firm. The PFM law is the anchor law. It is a superior law. Anything that you try to bring in cannot be in conflict with the PFM Act, and she knows it by hand. So I hope, Contra, you remain active in this space to provide that advice going forward. We, we celebrate that. Let me now speak to the Hadad law which I again took over from her, again my senior in this space. When I joined the CRA, the controller was the chairperson of the Forum for Constitutional Commissions and Independent Offices. And I looked at the way she did it effortlessly and in a very excellent way. Controller would walk to, if she needed something, she didn't call. She told you, Jane, I want to speak to you, and I can't talk about this on the phone. You know her voice. Jane, I can't say this on the phone. When are you available for me? And she would come in and discuss the issues. And I can tell you, when she sits in front of you, you won't say no. So I admired that a lot. And when the, the, the position came up, I offered. Little did I know what it takes. I can tell you, I can, I'm the current chairperson, and it's not easy to move this forward, particularly organizing an annual co congress without a budget which is what she was able to do, and do so successfully by reach, reaching out to a lot of, a lot of, of, read, of, of other partners. Sure thing. It has been an interesting time for the controller of budget, Agnes of Thiombo. Today, the, her office is launching the strategic plan, but remember it comes at a point where she's actually living office, and that is why speaker after speaker will make reference to her as uh, someone who's going out and they're of course uh, pouring praises on the quality of leadership that she's given this institution uh, this far. And we continue with our discussion right here in studio. It's all about quality education, quality learning and the way forward even as the nation continues uh, to roll out a CBC, we saw a conference happen at KICC last week. That is the national conference or curriculum conference, the third in a row. And so many issues came to the forefront, up and including the president saying, let's not focus so much on degrees. We'll have uh, both uh, Jun Li and Matthias weigh in on that in just a short while. But for now, we need a break. We will return in just a moment. <laughs> 